I am I'm grateful that the subject is so powerful and so strong that it, uh, it lends itself. Um, I would contend, Mr. President, that no American is properly trained in history unless they know black history. That if the truth is told, you cannot have American history without black history. Uh, if you're looking at the foundations of this great nation, uh, some sordid, some fantastic, you will see that blacks played a role in every part of it. And to separate these two things is to express an ignorance, an ignorance that lends itself to racial bias and, and racism, that you have to, if you have gone through school and you have not been trained in black history, then you, you've been cheated, my friends, and you should remedy that. Uh, as a matter of fact, Mark Twain said that, never let school get in the way of your education. And I encourage all of you to do that, to make sure that we don't fail to understand that there's a whole world of knowledge that we have to learn outside of school. Uh, blacks have exceeded er in every field, including cotton, tongue in cheek, gentlemen. Uh, and we have to recognize those things. Black history is every day, but you know, let me just take one incidence of black history to, to show you. Uh, that it's American history and that everyone plays a role in it. This picture, this iconic picture of uh, Rosa Parks sitting down on the bus. Everyone has seen that picture. But if you notice carefully in that picture, there's a white guy sitting behind her. And if you really understand that he actually was a New Yorker who just happened to be on that bus at the same time, and he stayed on the bus to make sure that she was not brutalized. The history of this country, everything is so interwoven that to study it would merely have you a better American. Uh, and that gentleman who was a New Yorker, we really don't speak of much, and perhaps that's, that's good. That's the way it should be in one sense that each group must back the other if we are going to have a true America. Now, Mr. President, as I conclude, I conclude by saying that you cannot really separate. We, we show the difference in black history just so that we can greater understand it. And if you really love this country, then you have to study black history too so that you can fully understand the country that we say we love. American history is black history. Black history is American history. We highlight it so that we can, until the, the history books are written in the correct fashion, we must highlight this. But we all should long for the day when we get a true history, a history of all of us and the contributions of all, that we don't have to highlight this or highlight that, but just let the truth be told and will be a greater country. That, Mr. President, is what will make America great. Thank you, sir.